Hello, this is Lakshmi Kantiwari. Today I am going to create a stacked bar chart plot in Android application. So our application uh, which I am going to create, it would be look like something like this one. There is a bar chart and every bar line is a stack to the another one. Right? So if you zoom and you can see it. Right? So it's a simply I have just given a name birth, divorce and the marriage. Okay, statistics are the Vienna 2014. It's depend on you whatever you want to give the name. Okay. Perfect. So for that one, first of all that we need a repository here. And we need to set it into our Gradle. Okay, so let's set that repository here. And uh, then we want here, uh, you know, dependency. So this dependency we can sit here. Right, so we are covering here MP Android chart library. Uh, let's uh, sync it. While it is syncing, let's uh, create a resource file into a layout. Okay, so in activity.main. So here we need to create just a bar chart, get rid of this text view. We need to create here a bar chart, right? So match parent and uh, Let's uh, give a height of uh, 400 dp and I would like to give a id. So id, let's give it to a chart one, right? So we are done with the main activi uh, activity main.xml file. Now let's uh, create a two more, uh, you know, the Java file. So the first Java file would be uh, my axis value formatter, my axis, you know, my axis value formatter. So it's a my axis value formatter, okay. So it's what you can do, my axis value formatter or Java file. And uh, another file, I would like to create one more file that would be named as a my value formatter, right. So it would be named as my value formatter, right. So we have got here a three file. So first of all that let's code this my value formatter. So in my value formatter we need to ex imp implement here, right? So we need to uh, implement here, Oops, sorry. Uh, we need to here implements uh, i value formatter, right? So I need to implement here i value formatter. And uh, then we want here, uh, you know, the private and uh, then decimal formatter. So it's a decimal format and M format, right? So we want here, uh, you know, constructor that is a uh, public, uh, you know, the my value formatter and uh, it would not take any parameters as a input. And then we want M format is equal to new decimal format and uh, then six time has, okay, and then dot zero, right? Perfect. Uh, it depends on you how much you want to do it. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, and then control and O. Right, so we want here get value formatter. And then I would like to return from here. Okay, so I would like to return here m format dot format and then a value. Right, and uh, then I would like to add here, uh, you know, the dollar sign with this value. Right, perfect. So whatever I pass, that will be returned as a dollar. Right. Okay, great. So this is uh, my value formatter. Now let's come to the my axis uh, axis value formatter. So for my axis value formatter, uh, I would like to implement here. Right. So implement here uh, i axis value formatter. Right, so here I would like to create a private and then again a decimal format and then let's make it as a, you know, the M format. Okay, and then I would like to create here a default constructor that is my axis, uh, sorry, my axis value formatter. It must be my axis value formatter. Okay, it would not take any parameter as an input but uh, you know, it would make m format is equal to new, you know, the decimal format. And then again, uh, whatever you can give a six time hash sign. 
and then dot zero it will convert it okay right so after this i need a override functions you can get with the control and o that's the get, get formatted value so here i would like to return you know, the m format a dot format and then i would like to give here a value right so here uh, that value uh, and i would return with the dollar sign right i think uh, we are done with the my axis value formatter and uh, let's close this now come to the main activity dot java so in main activity dot java first of all that we need to create our bar chart here so it would be a private and uh, then bar chart is equal to m chart right and then come to um, main activity on create and then it would be a on chart equal to you know on chart is equal to you know the bar chart and then find we by id and then r dot id dot chart oops dot you know the chart one and then we want m chart dot uh, ah don't worry about the get descriptions and other things okay leave other things not a big deal and what i can do uh, m chart dot you know the set max uh, visible value count let's make it to the 40 okay and don't worry about the other values and uh, let's uh, you know the create another method that is a set data so i'm gonna set a value set data that's the 10 10 means there would be a 10 you know, the 10 bar here right so i'm going to create that data that could be created using a public wired and then a set data i'm going to take int count here as a input right and then create here array oops it's not array list uh, not array adapter i'm going to create array list and then entry type okay oops it would it must be the bar entry type not oh my, oh my goodness it must be the bar entry right so the bar entry and then i want to create here you know the y value is equal to new array list right then i'm going to create here a for loop so in this for loop int i equal to zero and then i less than this count and then i plus plus right so here there would be a three value so the first value which is with the float and then you know the well one that would be equal to you know the float and uh, then you can say it would be a math dot random right and uh, what we can do mm. uh, we can you know give some random value just not a big deal let's uh, multiplied by a count itself okay great so apart from this count uh, i'm going to also give let's say some offset to this one right so copy it and paste it two times i would like to make it value two and value three right so the value has been generated now uh, in this for loop we also need to set uh, y values dot add and the new bar entry and here the pass i as an input and then new float okay so it would be array type here new float that would be first one is val one another one would be a val two and another one will be a val three right great now let's create here a bar data set right so so this array is going to you know the stack one value to the another value it's a very simple actually the bar data set is equal to the set one okay and then set one dot oops sorry set one is equal to new bar data set a new bar data set and inside this one i'm going to take this i value and i'm going to give this name as a you know statistics of uh, you know let's say usa it doesn't matter okay 
and uh, you know the set one dot uh, i'm going to you know the set uh, draw icons to false set uh, draw icons to make it to a false and uh, okay and uh, the label which i'm going to give here is tagged label so that's the very simple set one dot a set is tagged label so that's the new and then a string you know you can say here uh, children okay then you can say here adults and then here you can say a uh, you know uh, elders right perfect now let's create a bar data so I'm going to create here you know the bar data so the bar data and then data is equal to a new and uh, then bar data I'm going to pass here you know to my um, data set right so the bar data the data inside this bar data I'm going to pass here a set one that's our data set right now the data I'm going to set few properties here right so the value formatter set value formatter which is equal to a new and then my value formatter right and then again here the data and uh, then I'm going to set the value to okay don't worry about that other value is okay just set the chart m chart dot in the set data and uh, set here the data and uh, then again value another m chart dot set feed bar m chart dot set feed bars and that is going to be true right m chart dot invalidate oops ah, dot invalid oops m chart dot invalidate right oh my god dot invalidate right so uh I think uh, we have done everything here and uh, now uh, one more things uh, I may have missed for setting the colors but I'll do that later. So let's uh, you know run this application in Android mobile. See earlier it was looking like something this one I'm uh, creating new one and this name is uh, tag bar chart plot in Android right. So it's an installing application and the launching activity see here right so if you see here and uh, uh, earlier you know uh, the color was you know the multi color so for that one you can set the color also here set one dot uh, you know the set colors and uh, then i would like to set the palette color here dot uh, joyful colors okay just set the joyful colors see here you know the different color has been come has been came for different different application uh, different different uh, you know the bar data right so the children and adults and the you know elders so this is the statistics of the us you can say it doesn't matter actually and uh, here is the description label uh, if you want to hide this description label you can hide this description label too okay so that can be done here okay so m chart dot get description and then dot set enable and just just make it to the false and let's sorry the load it okay it will hide this description right okay great so there are other methods also in which uh, by using those methods you can set this x axis and uh, y axis values means you can customize as per your wish you may have seen my previous video tutorials in which i have been you know the customizing y axis and the x axis etc so if you have not seen those videos you can visit my previous tutorials and you can see and you can subscribe my channel so that you can get update for my new video tutorials so thanks for watching this one and stay tuned for the next one i'll be covering real time data plotting also in the next tutorials thanks for watching bye bye have a nice day